Hi, I'm Shelly Turner with Build Raw Team Awesome, and I'm so excited because I'm going to be talking to you today about the Build Raw booking app. And this is a fantastic part of Build All, one of the many tools on Build All that allows you to create and manage your calendars for appointments and events. So let's take a look at who needs a booking app, because that's actually a really good question. Who needs a booking app? Well, anybody that regularly sets appointments, schedules meetings, or even conducts classes. So we're talking about people like mentors, coaches, hairdressers and barbershops, lawn care services, anyone that does webinars, lectures, or seminars, they can actually set up these booking apps to let people register for the event. We can do live events and concerts. We can do uh, registrations for meetings. Uh, even teachers and gyms and religious services can do a lot of stuff with booking apps. So you can imagine uh, this whole group of people right here is wide open for using booking apps to be able to schedule their appointments, their meetings, or their classes. So let's talk about the benefits of the Builder All booking app and being able to book appointments using the booking tool. So the first thing is that it will save a ton of time for staff because you won't have to have people to uh, take down appointment dates and then chase down people if there's conflicts and answer the phone. This is an automated system that you can set up where you don't need a, a human person to take care of organizing everything. The next one is the customers can actually schedule it all themselves with 24 hour convenience. So they can go into your website, access your booking calendar, and they can actually access that at any time of the day, any time of the night, whenever they're ready to book an appointment. Also, our booking app has an amazing email and SMS reminder system. So we can send out email reminders and SMS text reminders to the clients once they create a, uh, an appointment in your booking app. And there's no need to have a human person have to contact them because they'll get it right in their email and right on their phone with a text message. Also, this is incredible to avoid overbooking. Um, you can't do it because the way you set up the system, people won't be able to double book for the same time slot. Um, unless you decide there's a, an activity that more than one person can book, and then you can have a certain number of people that can book for that time slot. It's also an easier experience for the customers. You can imagine if they can go in and they can pick their own time and they can pick their own date and then they get the, all the reminders that they need. And if they need to do another appointment, they'll be really, uh, really receptive to it because it was easy the first time. So they know it's going to be easy another time. If you're dealing with a receptionist, it doesn't matter how kind the receptionist is. There's sometimes that there's a back and forth. Can you do it on this date? No, I can't do it on that date. Can you do it on this date? No, I can't do it on that date. But with the booking app, uh, the client can actually go in and check those dates all by themselves. There's no confusion and they can very easily reserve the time that they want for their appointment. So let's talk about the booking app features and there's quite a bit of these. So we have tons and tons of features in our booking app. And one of them is booking appointments online. So of course, this is the most obvious thing that we can do is we can allow your clients to book their appointments online. We can also create different types of appointments and I'll cover those just in a few minutes, but it seems obvious that yes, you can do a one-on-one -on -one book an appointment. Yay. There you go. You're on the calendar, but there's so many different types of appointments and we're going to talk about those. We can also connect with Google calendar. So if they set up an appointment and they've got a Google calendar that they work with, they can actually set that appointment and add it to their Google calendar. And then of course, we talked about this already. You can send email and SMS text message reminders out for their appointment. So hopefully they will not miss an appointment. And then you've got Zoom integration. So if you like the Zoom platform, you can actually use the Zoom. And when they set up their appointment, it will integrate with Zoom and give them the exact Zoom link that they need for that appointment, which is really exciting. So that's just a few features of the Builder All booking app. So let's get started talking about inside of the actual 
platform and what it looks like and what it can do. So the first major thing you'll see when you jump in is the dashboard. And this is kind of the home base of what you're going to be doing with the Builder All Booking app. And from here, you can look at all of your calendars. You can look at all of your subscribers, how many you have, when you got them. You can look at all the income if you're charging for your appointments. And you can also see any upcoming events that are occurring in your calendar. And then you can create a brand new calendar from here. So this is the home base of everything that you'll do inside of the booking app. And the dashboard displays lots of analytics for you. So you can kind of evaluate what's happening with your appointment calendars. And are you getting subscribers? And are you making an income from those appointments? Then you've got the calendar manager. And this is part of where I was talking about the different calendar types. You're going to be able to create a new calendar here. And you're going to be able to choose your calendar type. And if you look over here, it, we've got four different types. We've got the consultation, the event the classroom and the recurring. So let's talk about each one and, uh, and what it means when you use each one of those different types of calendars. So here's just a chart that kind of covers all the different four types, including consultation, event, classroom, and recurring. So the consultation is when you actually define your open hours and the customers get to choose what time they prefer to attend. So I'm open from eight to five, I'm going to take a lunch break at 12 to 1, so I'm not available during that hour, but any of those other hours, you can book a time with me and we'll be ready to go. So that's a consultation. An event means that you set a date and a time and a registration limit. So how many people do you want to be allowed to attend that event? And then multiple users can register for that event. So you might be holding a webinar and you want 100 people to be able to attend, but no more than 100. So once you get to 100, that booking will no longer take any more people to try to book uh, for that particular event. Then you've got a classroom, and in this one, you can define your available times, and uh, multiple cus customers or clients can sign up on the same day and the same time of week on a recurring basis. So you may say that you want a classroom that can have 20 people in it and you want to meet four times. So when they register, you're going to get 20 people four different times on the calendar. So that's a classroom environment. Then you've got recurring, and this is where you define your open hours and the customers choose the time they prefer, and then they get to attend that time regularly. That's if you're doing a session, uh, like say you're doing a coaching session for a client and you're going to meet every Monday at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, you can set that up and then it becomes a recurring appointment for that person at eight o'clock on Monday. So that's a recurring type of calendar. So you can see that builder all because of the different calendar types, we definitely have the perfect calendar type for your booking needs. So now let's talk about going in and actually creating the calendar. So the first step in creating the calendar is just the basic settings. And this is where you're going to go to customize your calendar by adding your company logo. You can uh, do time zone adjustments. Remember, we're a global society now. So you can actually adjust the time zones and make that adjustment automatic. So if I look at it in my time zone, it's going to show my times that the appointments are available. But if somebody else looks at it, it's going to show their times that the appointments are available. And then you can uh, send a standard thank you page to them, or you can redirect to another web page. So say you get to get them signed up for a webinar. And once they're signed up and they're ready to go, you can send them to a sales page on a product or a pre-sales page for the webinar, or even an instruction page on how to get ready for the webinar. The next thing that we can do besides basic settings, the next step is to go into scheduling. So inside scheduling, we have the ability to create multiple groups of schedules. We can set the session duration. We can create your availability schedule, including hours and dates. So in here, you can say, I want to be available every Monday from 9 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m., but I'm going on vacation, so I want to make sure that March the 21st and 22nd, I'm off and can't accept any appointments on those days. So you can create your availability schedule ongoing uh, inside the platform on the scheduling area. You can also create recurring sessions and you can block out dates for vacations and holidays. Then the next step in creating your calendar is to set up the forms for booking. So you can collect the name and the email 
You can send booking information from an autoresponder. So you can connect to our builder on mailing boss and you can actually send that information from there. You can add additional fields. So if you want to collect some pre-appointment information from them, you can actually add additional fields and connect additional information. There's also multiple field formats. So there's the text field, but there's also drop down and checkbox. So lots of different ways that you can present these fields so that the clients fill out this information before they set the appointment. And then also all the information from the fields will be stored inside of our Mailing Boss database platform so that you'll have access to that information. The next step is communication. And this is where you can send a personalized booking confirmation and you can send that via email or SMS text messages. And you can send this to the subscribers and or the host. So you get a new subscriber, you may wanna know about it. So your subscriber gets information, but then you also get an email confirmation or even an SMS text message that you just got a new subscriber. You can also send multiple personalized reminder emails and text messages to your clients. So personalized means you can put their name on it. You can put their uh, appointment information on there and you can put any other links that you wanna provide inside of those emails or text messages to get them ready for the appointment. And then you can actually select the sender email. So you don't have to use any of our default emails. You can actually create your own professional email and use that as the sender email when you're sending out the reminders and information about the appointment. The next step is automation. And of course, this is key. This is the, the big draw of our booking app is being able to automate all of this. And the automation in here includes syncing with the Google Calendar, integrating with Zoom meetings, including getting the Zoom link automatically. So your client will get the link. And then when you look inside of Zoom, Zoom will have all of your appointments in there just exactly like they set it up and the exact link that you need to be able to connect with that person at the appointment time. And then also it automatically subscribes the client to Mailing Boss and puts them into our autoresponder system. So if you have a sequence of emails that you want to go out, they will go out automatically to your new client. The next one is payments. This one's really exciting because we're integrating payments into the booking app so that you can offer free bookings or you can offer paid bookings. As in, if you wanna set up a coaching program and you want them to pay per coaching session or pay for a number of coaching sessions, they can actually pay for those items before they were, they're able to book the appointments. We can also integrate with the Builder All Super Checkout and accept payments like pay, PayPal, Stripe, and many other different uh, payment processors. And then you can also choose the currency that you want to use to collect the payment. So do you wanna collect in US dollars? Do you wanna collect in euros? There's lots of different choices on what you can, what currency you can use to collect the payments. And then once you've set up all that stuff in your calendar and your calendar's ready, the next step is to customize the look of your calendar. And just default is what you're seeing on the screen right here. Um, this is the default look, which is absolutely beautiful, but you also have the ability to personalize and customize the look of every single area of this calendar. So you can change the header background, the main background, the card background. You can set the primary color. You can set the color overlay. You can set the text colors, and you can also use some predefined templates, which down here are a few of them. And you can see the uh, beautiful colors that they've got for the predefined templates. You can just click on those and then edit those as you want to, to change the things to match maybe your branding or the style of your website. And now once you've created the calendar and you've got it looking exactly like what you want it to look like, how do you get the calendar out? Well, there's three different ways. You can give people the direct link, which is just a URL, and you can share that URL in an email, in a Facebook Messenger message, uh, in chatbot. There's a lot of ways that you can share that URL. Uh, the next one is embed in your website. So we actually have the HTML code that you can add directly into your website and you will have the booking app right there on your website. And then we've also got a cheetah element, meaning if you're editing in cheetah and you're creating a website in cheetah, there's an element that you can use where you just drop it into cheetah. You identify which calendar you're using and it will put it right into your website for you. So we've made appointment scheduling about as simple as it can be.
So that's kind of a summary of the booking app and what all it can do for you. Um, we've talked about the people that need a booking app, anyone that schedules meetings, appointments, classes, and stuff like that. You need a reliable booking app and Builderall has a great one. And this booking app is part of the 30 plus tools that are inside the Builderall Funnel Club. So I invite you to look at the description down below this video. I'll have my link to the Funnel Club included, and I would love for you to check out all of the other tools that we have inside of Builderall in addition to the booking app, including a professional messenger chat bot. We have email marketing, we have SMS messaging, we have A-B split testing, and of course, any of the websites that you built with Builderall, we're going to have DDoS attack prevention and secure SSL for your website. So, so much going on in Builderall. I invite you to take a look at it. Thank you so much for being here for the Builderall booking app presentation. And I can't wait to see you on the inside as a part of Builderall Team Awesome. I'll see you inside. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check the description for the latest link to the best deal you can get to sign up for Builderall. And I'll see you on the inside as a part of Team Awesome.